Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Savance. We want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment. We want to give you guys a fresh perspective on things. And now we sit today. We got a hell of a show for you guys. Before we get into it, uh, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let me get into this topic here. This is a bit interesting one uh, that came out of nowhere. So, as you guys know, I've been spending a lot of time talking about this LeBron uh, allegation that Kevin Garnett threw out there, basically saying that he's on that balco, he's on that new juice. Uh, a story that big media is petrified to touch on. We wonder why. But uh, we've been discussing it and various people have been discussing it. And throughout this conversation, you know, old clips have been coming up. People are saying all things, this and this and this. And then what happened? This morning I was going to the internet and I came across a clip from Max Kellerman on ESPN First Take about five plus years ago. And at the time, him and Stephen A. Smith were talking about the low LeBron James's carrying on his body and all of that and Stephen A. Smith was talking about how he's in great tip-top shape and e exceptional shape and blah, blah 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 and Max Kellerman who's very pragmatic realistic uh well researched was listening to the information that he was hearing and was like wait a minute some of this is not adding up here the guy's been playing basketball since he was what 18 years old in the NBA if you look at the tread on his tires <laughs> Eventually, it should start wearing down, but instead, it's still increasing. And he's like, all throughout history, that's not been the case. But in this particular case, it's different. And Max is like, wait a minute. None of this quite makes any sense. So during the discussion, Max Kellerman then suggests that during a trip that Miami made, uh, Miami, that LeBron made back to Miami, he was so skinny. And then within a week or so, he came back bulked up and looking totally different. And when he was saying that, <laughs> Stephen A. Smith said, oh, no, no, no. It's the paleo diet. For those of you who never got a chance to hear Max Kellerman say that, we want to play it for you now. And then we're going to come back and continue on the show. Take a listen to what Max had to say here. He's, but, but, but he's playing, Max. We're saying uh, it because he's Yes, playing. he is, but okay. that gets to the next point. Yes, he takes care of his body, obviously, right? Yeah. Obviously, better than anybody in the game. Better than anybody on the other in the hand, in the history of the NBA, when you've played as many seasons as LeBron, let's not forget, straight out of high school, he's playing a full slate. They didn't take it easy on him in terms of the minutes like they did on Kobe. They okay. gave him, he, he was carrying the load the minute his foot hit the ground in the NBA, he was off and running. And this is a bunch of seasons, what is it, 14 now? I mean, yes. it's like when, when you think of the older players, they were 36, 37 years old, 38 years old by the time they played the minutes that LeBron James has played. And those are rough minutes. Those are minutes in the crucible of playoff action. Now this season, we, I, I've been saying since the beginning, given that fact, I don't care how you take care of your body, or rather, one of the ways you take care of your body is rest. And given that fact, the fact that LeBron James has taken very few games off this season, not like last season, two seasons ago, when he mysteriously in the offseason lost like 30 pounds of muscle mass, and didn't look the same, and didn't play the Paleo, same. Paleo, like paleo diet. Off. Paleo diet. And then paleo came back brolic and, and, and back to being LeBron James Superman. So you heard what Max Kellerman had to say. As I was talking, I was beginning to remember something on Undisputed. When Shannon Sharp used to be on Undisputed working with Skip Bayless. This was at the um, beginning of the show, the first few years. Shannon and Skip used to have this kind of like under the table joke where you were like, you know, LeBron has really been working out. He's really doing his thing. He's like, uh huh, really? That's what he's doing, right? He's working out, he's working out. And Skip was always alluding to the fact, like, I know there's something else going on here, but he couldn't, he never said it. And I think Shannon knew what was going on here. I think a lot of these dudes know what's going on here. I'm not saying what's going on here, but there's this, these rumors have been circulating around him circulating around him investigation comes up his wife is named the investigation his friend i think randy mims is named an investigation he's not a named investigation why the hell would they be named to something uh that's connected to that why how did they end up in that situation that's that story listen um <clears throat> the situation is the following we're getting to the point where a lot of us nba fans are beginning to question what we're seeing and the minute doubt enters, you've lost your entire case. People are beginning to question, ask the question, well, how is all of this possible? This is the question I ask. I ask the following question. 
how is LeBron James doing this at this, at this age? How? How is he defying time? Father Time is undefeated. How is he doing this? How come he doesn't get tired? How is this possible? I'm asking from the standpoint of, I've looked at every other NBA player to play in the sport. None of them have been able to do it. You're telling me none of those guys had $2 million a year to spend on their body? When you think about it, you realize how, how, how ridiculous it sounds. The man spends $2 million on his body. Kobe couldn't spend $2 million on his body. KD, all these other guys, they couldn't spend $2 million. Kevin Garnett, all those, they couldn't spend $2 million on their body? What, what, are we, what are we saying right now? Guys that were making $20 million a year couldn't spend $2 million on their body? Or $1.5 million? What are, we, what are we really saying here right now? Obviously, all of these guys can spend that money. It's chump change to most of them. Not even 10% of what they make, probably, whatever it is. But yet and still, I'm looking at this before. You've got to ask yourself, well, how is it possible? How is it possible? I don't know. That doesn't make you ask the question. Any person I've listened to that's into bodybuilding and all of this stuff, they've all said something is uneven here. All of them. This is normal to you? And then you got Max Kellerman suggesting that? How do we explain that occurrence that Max Kellerman was referring to? How do we explain it? Uh, let me guess. A bunch of speculations and this and this and this and it's not true. My, my boy, a lot of people have been saying this. Like a lot. Not one, not two, a lot. You got Max Kellerman suggesting it. You got Skip Bayless uh, suggesting it. And Max Kellerman's a LeBron fan. You got Cameron Garnett suggesting it. You have Shale Sonnen. Is Shale Sonnen playing the NBA? Did he, did, did he lose to LeBron in the Eastern Conference Finals? No. You got all of these guys saying these things. And then on top of that, you have the fact that the media is absolutely running away from this story. They're afraid to touch it. They're absolutely afraid to touch it. It's like poison ivy to them. And you ask yourself the question, what is going on here? Now, some people, again... We'll be saying, why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? We're doing this because it needs to be said. Nobody's talking about it. Number one. Number two, I'm just giving you my point of view. I'm not out here slandering anybody. I'm just giving my point of view. I'm just expressing my thoughts. Freedom of price. I have the right to say what I think. I have the right to say what I think, and I'm going to continue to say what I think, and I don't think I'm breaking any law by doing that. If I got to sit up here and listen to all of these guys twerk it up all over the place on television, slapping each other while honey up and down the hallway, talking about, oh, LeBron, look at his amazing longevity. How was he able to do this? All of this is spectacular. How was he able to pull off these amazing feats? Ba, 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 ba. So you're telling me we got to sit down here and listen to all of these jokers run out there and say these things, but nobody in the back can say, yo, but hold up. How is he doing all of this? No, no, no. What do you mean by that? What do you mean? What is he doing by that? What, what do you mean? How, how is he doing it? Just sit back. And what did they say? Enjoy greatness. It's like, no, I want to understand how was this guy able to perform at this level at this advanced age and nobody else can. He's 39 years old. How is it possible? People want, people want to understand what they're seeing. And you're like, no, no, no. Just enjoy greatness. You can enjoy greatness. Go get you a bucket of honey and rub it all over your booty the way you guys be liking to do it. And your titties be over there tingling when you see LeBron do something. And the minute something happened that he do, then we don't twerk it up for you. All of a sudden you mad. We don't, we don't want to twerk with you. I'm not with you, dudes. We don't be not interested. Go twerk over there. Go twerk over there. Don't be calling us, yo, oh, why are you not twerking with us? What's wrong with him? So we got a lot of questions, and I think a lot of us are going to ask these questions, to be, to be honest with you. So what I want to know from you guys, what do you think about Max Kellerman, what he was alluding to? What do you think about that Miami story? With that significant change that you saw, whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section. We catch you guys on the next show. Peace.